Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K14 My Career Gameplay with Denny Tice in the T-Bulls. As you can see, the last game we played the Sacramento Kings. I decided not to show that because, I don't know, I don't feel like showing every single game I play against um, Jackson Ellis. I don't think it's that important, so I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, if the Kings, if Jackson Ellis were on a better team, maybe I would show them, but I mean, it's not really much use showing the Kings. The game wasn't really that close, so I decided, you know, I'll forget it. Even though I did have a really good game, I decided I'd skip through this because I am pretty excited to get to the postseason soon. As you see on um, the stats there, we are 42 and 20. Four, I think so that means we're only 16 games away from the postseason and at this moment we are a three seed which is really exciting like I mentioned before we could have been as low as like the six seed, or who knows maybe even worse we kept on losing but we've turned it up lately I think we're on a nice winning streak entering this game and we're only four games I think out of OKC and Houston who are tied for the first spot so maybe we could you know set our goals a little bit higher at this point we keep on winning you know, the sky's the limit, or in this case, the first tee is the limit, but hey, we can get there, man. That's basically the sky, and I think we can get it. I don't know how I didn't get an assist for that, just because the ball rolled out and back in. It's still a shot, man. I still need an assist for that Corey Brewer bucket. I need the stack guys to help me out on that one, but it doesn't really matter too much because we are winning this game very handily. When I hit the bench, the lead doubled. And, you know, usually, like, in 2K, especially in Hall of Fame, your bench players don't really do that well. But this year, as far as, you know, my team with the Kings here, by the way, rejected. After turning over the ball, bad turnover, I should have just taken the shot attempt. I was scared of getting blocked. But that's just the hustle of Denny Tice coming back on the other end to play defense there. And, you know, that's what you got to do. Might not be the tallest person, might not be the fastest person, might not be the strongest person on the court. But when you play with the most heart... You know, you get an 18-point lead heading into halftime. But yeah, back to what I was saying. The bench has been playing really good as I drop Sean Marion. Can't really do much. I, every single time I try to do something in this 2K series, there's always some new highlight play going on that interrupts me. But yeah, the bench has been doing pretty good so far this season for us. And it's pretty relaxing. Usually when you, you know, like I remember last year, even when I played with the Hornets, we were a really good team. I would go to the bench, we'd always, like, lose a few points off the lead, which you get used to. And it's not, like, unrealistic by any means. It's your bench. You don't expect your bench to be blowing teams out. But, I mean, still, you want your bench to always hold four. But our bench actually gives us a bigger lead sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll go in the game and they'll double the lead. I'll be like, okay. And in this case, it was just because the Mavs couldn't score. The Mavs were just, you know, piss poor in offense this game. As the ball bounces in and out for Denny. But Peck gets another offensive rebound for us. And I can't heat up. This game was not exactly my best game offensively. But, you know, we blew him out. And, you know, it's a good team effort. That's all that matters. I contribute in other departments. I helped get a few blocks. Helped with my assist number. And definitely helped out on the steals. Especially in the third quarter. You see, I believe Monte trying to die for that one. But Denny is able to come up with it. And after this game, we're going to be making a very big decision as we block Crowder there. We are going to decide between Nike and Jordan. The time has come in our career when... Our shoe deal is the man. Our shoe deal is here. And I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to get a shoe deal going. You know, last time we did the sprint versus uh, sprite decision. This is a bigger decision. This one actually kind of does matter. Now, I mean, it doesn't matter too much as far as, you know, what happens in your career. But still, I mean, you do want to, you know, you do think about the decision Nike versus Jordan more than sprint versus sprite. And, you know, I definitely did think about this one. Last year, I think I hit, hit sprint. I wanted sprint because I didn't want to be like a Jordan athlete or something like that. Um, this year, you know, I was thinking about going the same path, but then I'm like, you know what? A lot of people do. A lot of people do Nike. And one thing I like doing is doing things differently, when, especially when it comes to this 2K series. That's why you see pass first point guard Denny Tice. This is something that pretty much no one else does, or at least no one else can do. People will say they could do it, but um, people can only pass it so much. It's not in their DNA, you know. But um. And that's the way I like doing this series, and, you know, I, I, le I left the table open. I left the offer on the table to say, you know what, maybe we could hit up Jordan. I was like, throw the alley-oop there, but just too high for Shabazz Muhammad. And by the way, people asking for signature skills. Alley-oop was one of my signature skills, but I took it off. I only had it on for the All-Star game, and I forgot to take it off. But after that, I was like, you know what, I can't do this alley-oop. It just doesn't work. But um, that's the end of this game. Hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more 2K14, and... You guys will see my decision, Nike or Jordan, after this press conference here. So I'll catch you guys next time on that note. Coach, you had to face some formidable production tonight coming from the kid. What was he able to do to get around your defense? Jumping over us and hitting shots. And look, he's a great player. And he was making some of those contested shots. And um, 
you know, that's frustrating. But um, we're going we're gonna to go back, look at the film. We're going to look at the things we got to do better. And we're going to be back out there battling. <laughs> ready, man? Hey, this dude is so funny, yo. <laughs> uh, what? Ready for what? It's decision time. Decision time. Finally. I don't care, man. Thai, pizza, Italian, whatever you no, want. No, man. It's time to choose between the big dog, <laughs> Nike, and Jordan. What? Yeah, man. It's time to choose. <sighs> Dude, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. I know, man. I know. And the thing is, is that they both feel like you're ready to be one of the athletes. All right? they, I mean, they pushing me hard, man. They, they want you to decide. Yo, it's not exactly an easy decision. No, I know, I know. That's why I'm I'm going to walk you through it, man. I'm going to walk you through it, all right? So pay attention. Listen real close, all right? And you decide what's best for you in your career. All right, so lay it on me. Start with Nike. What's up? All right, Nike, Nike. Okay. Uh, First thing is that Nike, they're going to uh, give you decent money straight out the gate, nice. okay? And you're going to get instant fans, man. I mean, just from being associated with the brand, right? And, uh, oh, they got promotional stuff for you, and you get access to all these shoes anytime you want. All right, you know yeah. I can dig that, bro. Yeah. That's cool. So what's up with Jordan, then? Well, Jordan's going to give you the most money, all right? So if it's just about the cash, then you definitely want to give them strong consideration, all right? And again, they got the promotional for you, and you get access to all their shoes. Oh, and uh, you know being a Jordan athlete, I mean, that's a pretty exclusive club, you know what I mean? So you definitely want to think about that, too. Bro, honestly, I like it. I like what I'm hearing on both sides, man. So what's up? I'm just supposed to make a decision? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much, pretty much. And, and remember, when you become a bigger star, man, you're going to get your own signature shoe. Ooh. Regardless of who you choose. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. You know I can't wait for that. All right, man, let me think about this a minute. It's a tough decision. Yo, Jordan, for sure. I mean, the payout sounds nice, and I just love the idea of being a Jordan brand athlete. That's a great choice, man. I'll get the paperwork started. All right. Hey, from here on out, consider yourself a Jordan athlete. Nice. Now down to business. I'm hungry. Yeah, I feel you. We want to eat. Yo, you know how many decisions I have to make, man? <laughs> hey, man, look. Let's just go to an Italian spot. I All know right. a place. Let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> 